What is going on guys and welcome to Jeffrey Hack Music. My name is Jeffrey, your host of this YouTube channel, and I am a musician, actor, singer, and so many other creators. But this video isn't about me. Well, this video is about me reacting to Kevin Alushala's Fifth, a music video that a lot of you <laughs> had requested when I um, made my reaction to Kevin's Down. So if you haven't seen my most recent reaction to Kevin Alushala's Renegade, then definitely check that out. Link is in the description. I'm not going to put a card up here because I literally just started the video. But when you're done watching this reaction, definitely be sure to check it out. But yeah, fun fact about me. I work as an actor, sound mixer, director, and anything in the entertainment industry. I pretty much work in almost all the creative fields. But one of the things I love and have always loved doing is making YouTube videos and sharing my love for music with you guys. So if that sounds like a community you want to be a part of, then definitely be sure to subscribe. So yeah, Kevin's fifth reaction. Let's do it. Okay, so I didn't realize this was going to be a Christmas special. I don't usually do this and during the summer. I'm, re I'm recording this in July in 2023 at the moment, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to sacrifice my, my uh, you know, the holiday spirits for, for just a minute. Then again, it is always Christmas in July, right? But yeah, let's, let's check it out. This part of the show is so mind-blowing. It's all about Kevin Alushala, our beatboxer. And how, and how unbelievably talented he is in every single way. It's incredible. <laughs> I know a lot of you know this story, but for those of you who don't, Kirstie, Mitch, and I grew up in Arlington, Texas. That's where Pentatonix started with the three of us. And then we wanted to be on the show The Sing-Off on NBC 10 years ago, 11 years ago. But we could not find a beatboxer anywhere, and the show was coming up fast. And in an act of desperation, we went on YouTube, and we typed in beatboxers. <laughs> Enter. <laughs> and the first video to come up, which happened to be going viral that week, was a video of Kevin playing cello and beatboxing simultaneously. That's how we reacted as well. <laughs> and we were like, oh my gosh, we found the guy, we found him, we found him. How do we message him? YouTube message? I didn't even know that was a thing, but we were like, let's try it. So we YouTube messaged him, and we were like, hey man, if you're free, would you like... <laughs> if you're free. Would you like to fly across the country and audition for a TV show with some strangers? And... Uh, Why not? And uh, he was like, he actually responded. And he was like, you know, I normally would be so down. Like, I love acapella. I've been in an acapella group before but I'm studying for finals to get my pre-med major at Yale. Wow. The list keeps going. I know, I was like, oh, same. <laughs> that That's funny. Very relatable, Kevin. So, <laughs> No, but I was like, okay, so that's a done deal. So we forgot about it. But then two weeks later, he messaged again. He was like, great news, got the pre-med major. Also, Congrats on a that, doctor, yeah. a scholar. He's everything. <laughs> He's everything. And he was like, and I'm also down to fly across the country and audition for the show with you. So he did. Cool. And then we won the show, and we haven't stopped for 11 years. Amazing. And I'll, I'll leave it up to the imagination how the conversation went with his parents, who are here tonight. There you go. I know Not I just said. got my pre-med major, but can I be a professional beatboxer? Please. <laughs> um, anyways, he's about to do his cello boxing for you, which is what he did in the first video that we saw. So give it up for Kevin Alushala! Just saying, though, that pre-med um, doctorate, like, that, that's going to stay with him the rest of his life. So no matter what happens in his life, he's always got that. Man, thank y'all so much. This has been such an incredible night. Like, we love y'all so much, and this is truly one of my fa- I love you, too! <laughs> and can I say, I, I have been excited for this show for a while, because this is a hometown show for me. Uh, this is a hometown show for me. For those that don't know, I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. That's where I grew up. So Kentucky, thanks for making my band feel like we're at home right now. Thank you all so much. <laughs> so like Scott said, the band found me from a viral YouTube video. Literally, this is, a, this is me practicing cello in my dorm, and one of my friends, Jake Bruin, comes to me and says, have you ever thought about putting this, this thing that you're doing, this cello boxing thing on YouTube? 
So literally, we, we go to an old dingy basement in my college. He brings a video camera, and this is what I play for him. So clean. The <laughs> like doing that while playing the cello. Wow, that I give him all the props. Thank you. So that piece is called Julio. He's also such a humble guy. I really like that about his personality. Any musician that's not humble, scratch it off the list. But this guy. And from what I've seen of Scott Hoying, very well done. Very, very nice. By Mark Summer, who's part of the Turtle Island String Quartet. And that, that piece completely changed my life. I now have this amazing career with four of the most incredible people I know. And this cello boxing thing I've been doing now for almost 12 years, one of the things I've realized about it is that I actually love taking classical pieces and trying to reinvent them in my own way. So I thought tonight I'd play an excerpt of the Bach Prelude from the cello suite number one. Cool, let's hear it. I hope y'all enjoy this. was good <laughs> no way wow wow Hold up, hold up. He's going up, to up, to up, and he's playing the cello. So a bunch of deep breaths, making sure that you don't like a bunch of saliva doesn't go down your throat because that does happen when you beatbox every now and then. And then you're you're keeping tempo with the cello and just so many different things are going on. Wow. <laughs> What the heck? All right, my mouth would be sore right now. I've I've beatboxed in an acapella group called the Double Clubs at ASU back in the day, and like just just the the pace he's going while playing the cello, man, that that takes a lot of muscle from your mouth to to get done right. so good wow wow and i love that background too it's so beautiful it really lights up the it really not lights up but it portrays a good atmosphere for what he's doing Thank you so much. Man. 
Nice. Thank you so much. Oh man, I thank y'all so much. This has been such an amazing year, and you know, it feels like this. He's also wearing a hella good shirt, or not hella good, but hella fashionable and stylish shirt that I really dig. Nice. I wonder how much that costs. Thank y'all so much. This has been such an amazing year, and you know, it feels like this journey is still not done. This this past year, I have been going deeper in my own soul, trying to be more vulnerable and figure out what I artistically want to say next. And this next piece that I've arranged and produced, I think is the culmination of that year-long search. And you'll know the piece that this is based on and inspired by. This is called Kevin's Fifth. The moment we've all been waiting for. Okay. Oh. Hey. That staccato, man. I'm actually headbanging. <laughs> that's that's funny. Bring it. Nice. No way. What the heck is going on? So real quick, I just got to pause and say, this is like Santana meets the cello. This is so good. So good. But Kevin Olusola, I mean, Olusola, I mean, yeah. And choreography. Okay. He loop that? Oh no. No way. Wow, it's great build up. Wow. 
just shredded the cello. He just shredded the cello. That that was crazy. I want to see that again. <laughs> oh, man, the look on my face as I edit this video. <laughs> Outstanding. What a multi-talented man. Just Kevin on the cello, beatboxing, then the choreography, the percussion, just, oh my gosh. Just, there's there's a lot to take in. I mean, if my face didn't know already show you that I liked the song, then I'm happy to say it again. I liked the song. I, I, didn't, I didn't just like it. I loved it. This this was incredible. Um, Just one man that's able to beatbox like No Tomorrow, play the cello. Just wow. Um, I, yeah, this, this, this was something special. <laughs> and hey, if you've been enjoying this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more videos coming your way. And if you want to support this channel more than just a like and subscribe, then I encourage you to check out my Patreon, which is linked down below. On my Patreon, you'll get to hear my post commentary, like everything more that I th thought about this incredible music video. You get to vote on thumbnails and future things that are going to be coming to this YouTube channel. And just there's a lot of awesome, incredible stuff that's to come. And thank you to my current Patreon supporters for your extra contributions. I greatly appreciate you guys. But yeah, tell me what you thought of this music video or this performance, this whole Kevin Alushala uh, showdown. Alushala showdown. That should be a thing. Alushala showdown. <laughs> That's good. To watch my reaction to Kevin Alushala's Renegade, please click or tap the video you see right next to me. Thank you guys for choosing the hack experience. I hope you enjoyed yourself and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.